Welcome back to the Weekly Word Outdoor Adventures. We're still messing around here just above G Creek. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what this is. It's uh, just as you start up toward the rock bluffs on the, on the Hiawassee where everybody goes, it's an unofficial trail. And if you ever go up there, be real careful. Some people have been seriously injured falling off that thing. And even somebody here not too many weeks ago and I saw this back a year or so ago when we did the weekly word on that rock bluff and we went all the way up to the top. This is a, an old solid piece of iron that's driven in the rock here. And I don't know exactly what it's for. I'm gonna give you my educated guess and if you know anything about it, put it down in the comments down there and let us know what you know about it. But it's been here a really long time, solid iron steel and here's my educated guess this little stream that you walk beside kind of climb hand over fist going up to the rock bluffs the name of that stream on the maps is water tank branch and I've read that when the railroad down here came through in the 19th century that's been a while ago the engines of course were steam engines and they had to have a water tank ever so many miles to replenish the water in the trains to make the steam. And at the end of this branch was supposed to have been a big water tank that would have been real easy to set up. You just have to have a trough up above in the branch coming into the tank and the overflow going back into the branch and the train could have come by and it always been full. So my thinking is this is probably all that's left of the old water tank from the 1890s or so. And that might not be right. Maybe it had something to do with something else, but that's my get best guess. And one of the things that we do with the weekly word that we kind of have a goal of is uh, to preserve some of these things of historical significance in our area that will soon be lost and forgotten. At least we've made the video docu documentaries about them that uh, hopefully will be around for a long time on the, on the World Wide Web. That's not the primary purpose of the Weekly Word though. That's one purpose, a secondary purpose. The primary purpose is uh, to use the Weekly Word as a vehicle to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And just like we're sharing uh, these old historical evidences and preserving them, the prophet Jeremiah, he said, uh, here's the old paths, walk ye in them. And you hear a lot of things today about a progressive Christianity. Uh, there's no such thing as progressive Christianity. There's only Christianity. It's the same because God never changes. Uh, as the Bible says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So what the Christian church stands for is the same thing the Christian church stood for in the first century. That never changes. Culture changes. Uh, different means of sharing the gospel on the World Wide Web, Facebook, YouTube, etc. That can all change, but the gospel remains the same. And the gospel is still this, that we are all lost and undone sinners without hope in ourselves. And our hope lies outside of ourselves in the person of the perfect man, the God-man, the Lord Jesus Christ, who paid the penalty for us, that we could be, his life could be credited to ours. He was our substitute in the judgment that his life could be credited to ours. And we can stand before God as forgiven people perfect and holy in God's eyes because Jesus died for us to wash away every sin. And that's the gospel. And you appropriate the gospel by believing, by grace through faith. We believe the gospel message and we apply it to ourselves and say, Lord, I believe in you. Thank you for being my savior and dying for my sins. Help me to live for you now to be a witness for you. We'll see you next week on the Weekly Word. <laughs>